Today, I want to talk about one simple thing which makes Montreal a very fun city to live in. Medium density housing. Now, first things first, I am not an expert on this topic. Uh, this channel is not about urbanism or city planning or anything like that. I've never studied any of those topics. So don't expect a deep dive in this video. All I am is a guy who grew up in a traditionally North American city of Winnipeg. And now I live in Montreal and I see the difference. I have seen the light in terms of what this style of city uh, can do for the people who live there. Now, what do I mean by this style of city? Well, let's start with the basics. So most North American cities are built in a very familiar way. With few exceptions, you have sprawling suburbs full of houses and you have a downtown full of skyscrapers. The suburbs are obviously low density buildings, whereas the downtowns are obviously high density buildings. Now, if you grew up somewhere like that, you might be wondering, what's the problem? You know, you get to choose. Do you want your quiet house? Do you want your quiet lifestyle to raise a family, stuff like that? Or do you want your urban jungle environment where everything's happening, there's people all around you all the time? But what if I told you there's a middle ground that actually takes the best of both? Instead of just putting you in a box in the sky on like the 26th floor of 52 floors, or putting you somewhere where you don't even know your neighbors anymore because it's just you and then a grass and then a fence and then you're just so far from everything that it takes you an hour and a half to commute to the place you actually work. You can have neighborhoods like this. Where you live in moderately sized two or three or four story buildings. Which aren't as lonely as single detached homes, but also aren't as claustrophobic as those towers in the sky. Now what's the advantage of a neighborhood like this? It's pretty cool to be able to take a walk down one of these streets. And then on the corner you have a grocery store. And then across the street you have banks, you have restaurants, you have a clothing shop, you have a phone store, you have a 24-hour convenience store. And did you notice something? I didn't have to get in one of these. I just walked. <laughs> thousands and thousands of people in all of these homes all around Mount Royal Street can just walk and then you get everything done. Whereas in the suburban lifestyle, and I grew up in the suburbs of Winnipeg, so I can tell you this from experience, what could I walk to? Hmm. I mean, I guess I was kind of lucky in that there was a subway I could walk to. That was about a 10 minute walk. There was a Starbucks, it was about a 12 minute walk. Whereas if I wanted to go to my bank or I wanted to go to my phone store or shopping or anything, I needed a car. Now there still are cars, but these cars need to pay for permits to park here. And as you can see, there's not too many parking spaces available. Uh, I mean, the time I'm filming is people are still coming home from work. But by evening, almost every spot will be full. I can tell you that on the rare occasion that I've actually had to rent a car, it's been very hard to find parking. It's advantageous not to have a car in these neighborhoods, right? So not only do you not need a car, you actually don't want a car. <laughs> the people the cars are the ones who are digging out of the snow, and paying for the parking permits and, and just dealing with uh, all the inconveniences of having a car in this neighborhood. The people who are walking and biking everywhere really have things figured out. Canadians and Americans are addicted to cars, not because we want to be, but because we've been trained to be. But if you build different cities, you offer people new perspectives and you create new lifestyles for those people. Speaking of new lifestyles, here's a beautiful park across the street. So in under 10 minutes, in the time it would have taken me to get to that single subway or Starbucks, those corporate chains that are the only thing I could have reached in Winnipeg, I've walked from Mount Royal Street, the main uh, street through Plateau Mont Royal neighborhood, to Parc Laurier, which 
that building is not even half of it. I mean, it keeps going. There's a skating rink. There's a baseball diamond. There's that's actually a pool in the summertime, a very nice outdoor uh, swimming pool, which is free to use actually. Now, just to conclude, I want to show you that Mount Royal Street is, you know, not at all the only major uh, shopping street around here. In fact, basically every neighborhood is built around one or two streets that look like this. This is Laurier, Avenue Laurier. On my right, that's a coffee shop in the gray building. It's a grocery store, Metro. That is a delicious ice cream shop that always has lineups in the summertime. <laughs> I think it's closed today. That is a liquor store. That is a pharmacy. Hairdressers. A little cafe. Clothing shop. I mean, it goes on and on. But what I really want you to notice is the feeling of the streets. You have people walking around, which you don't get in the suburbs. But on the other hand, you don't have such a swarm of people like you have downtown where you just feel like uh, you're almost scared to walk around your own neighborhood because there's so many people and it's so chaotic. I've lived in downtown areas too. It's, it's not the same sense of community. But in an area like this, that medium density, that middle ground, is just pleasant to walk around, to bike around. It feels safe, but it doesn't feel empty. And I think that's the real power of medium density. And I think that's what Montreal's got better than perhaps any other city in North America. If you want to learn more about the way density can shape our cities, uh, there's some other great Canadian YouTube channels I can recommend, such as Not Just Bikes, Paige Saunders, About Here, and Oh The Urbanity. All really cool creators. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you learned something. And if you didn't, at least you got a nice walk through Montreal. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with that. See you next time.